since x is the midpoint of vy, I know that that then tells me that vx is congruent to xy. Also, since x is also the midpoint of wz, I know that wx is congruent to xz, which now gives me two pairs of congruent sides. So in all likelihood, I can count out angle, angle, side, and angle, side, angle. These do look to be right triangles, but since I don't have any given perpendicular lines or right angles, chances are I won't be able to use a hypotenuse leg theorem because I can't prove that they are right triangles. So that leaves side, 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 and side, angle, side. Well, I'm not sure how I would prove the third side's congruent, but the included angles are vertical angles which gives me everything I need for the side angle side postulate. Now we just need to write this up formally. I'm given that x is the midpoint of vy. I'm also given that x is the midpoint of WZ. Next, I can conclude that VX is congruent to XY and that WX is congruent to XZ. This is by the definition of midpoint. Next, and just to make this easy, I'm going to number these two angles. I know that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2 because vertical angles are congruent, or I can say the vertical angle theorem. Well, statement 2 gave me the two sides I needed, and statement three gave me the angle, so I'm now ready to use angle side angle, which means I know that triangle VWX is congruent to triangle, let's look at what we're trying to prove, YZK. That's by side angle side postulate. And that completes the proof.